happy people, my name is Dan and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very simple screen shake, which when done should look something like this. It's very easy to do, it's very easy to set up, um, so here is how you do it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually set up the shake object itself, and um, we're going to call that O-Shake, and this is the object that's going to control the screen shake. Um, and we're gonna start by setting some local variables. So we go into our create event, uh, and this is the setup, and we're going to set up shake X, shake Y, uh, we're going to set up shake uh, INT, I put INIT because I'm so used to typing it as like initiate, which is not true. <laughs> we need INT for intensity, and shake len, or uh, length. And we're also going to set up XS and XY. Now XS is going to be camera get view X and that's going to be for view camera zero. And we're also going to do the same for YS uh, and that's going to be for camera get view Y, also for view camera zero. So these are the variables we're going to use. Now we're going to go into our step event and actually set up the screen shake. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is reset the values for when it's not shaking. So shake len, uh, the shake length, if that equals zero, uh, I did put minus zero, I go to fix that. If shake len equals zero, uh, which is for when we are not shaking, we're going to reset everything as we had in the step event. So we're going to set shake x and shake y to zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the camera set view pause, so uh, the position of view camera zero uh, to x, s and y, s. Uh, and we're also going to set X, S and Y, S to uh, camera get view X. So we're going to set the X, S and Y, S to where the camera is positioned because we're going to need that later. So what we're doing here is we're just making sure that those values hold the Y, X and Y value of the camera. And we're also going to make sure the camera is set to that zero position. Now, if the shake len is larger than zero, uh, that means that it is currently shaking and we're going to show you what to do when that's happening. So shake x equals, and that's going to be, first of all we're going to minus shake int over two, so the intensity divided by two because then we get some back and forth, and then we're going to plus a random amount of shake int or shake intensity. We're also going to set that same value for shake y. So this will be, uh, if we set the intensity to say 20 pixels, it's going to take away 10 and then add random 20. So it's going to be uh, a random amount of 20 plus or minus uh, from that start point. Uh, and then we're going to take the shake length down by one frame so that it will eventually stop. And then finally, we're going to do camera set view pause, and that's going to be view camera zero. Uh, we also use view camera zero for this, and that's XS plus shake X and YS plus shake Y. So that's going to set it to the value plus what we've set as the shake amount. I think you can put that inside the if statement uh, rather than at the end. I don't think that really matters, but there's a wonderful phrase for when that happens, which is it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we're going to create our script. So this script we're going to call whenever we actually want the shake to take place. So we're going to call it SC Shake. What this means is anytime you want the camera to shake, all you need to do is type in SC Shake and then the time and intensity. So these are two real values, um, time and intensity, which I'm just setting up here in the description. So that's how long in frames uh, the camera is going to shake for and the intensity, so how much it's going to shake by. Um, and then what we need to do is set up the script itself. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of that bit there. That's just a little template that I have. So SC shake, and we're gonna set the uh, variables in this script as time and intensity, which we're going to call upon later. I'm just gonna put some underscores there to make that a bit easier to differentiate. Uh, so the first part of this script, we're going to do if instance number O shake equals zero, and then we're going to create the object. The reason being is uh, then we don't have to put the shake uh, camera object in every single room. We just need to call the script. And it also makes sure that there's no duplicates of that object. We only ever want one O shake object in the room at any one time. Uh, so if it doesn't exist, we're just gonna create it. 
Uh, it doesn't really matter what depth or what position because that doesn't hold any bearing. And then we're going to take with O shake and we're going to use the shake len as the uh, time variable we've set and the shake intensity as the intensity variable. So that is going to override any shaking it's already doing with that new shake length and shake intensity. And then all we need to do is, so if we have our control object, uh, whatever control object you're using, uh, it will all be okay. Uh, I'm going to use a key press event, I'm just going to do it on T for testing. Uh, but really at this point you would just call it whenever you want the screen to shake. So all you would need to do is SC shake and then let's say I random 10 and I random 20. So that's uh, up to 10 frames and 20 intensity. Uh, actually, no, let's make it 20, 20, 20. Um, and then all we need to do is put that control object into our room. Um, actually, before we do, we'll set our viewports. We need to set those as visible. It won't work unless they're visible. So I've set these up earlier. Um, it doesn't really matter what uh, size or anything, that's down to you. Uh, what size you set the viewport, I've just made it a little bit bigger so it's visible on screen. Uh, but as you can see now, when we run the game, there we go, we've got some screen shake going on. And it's as simple as that. All you need to do is set that up so that any time you want to shake the screen, you just call SC Shake. And that's it. I hope this has been useful and I will see you in the next video. Until then though, bye! Happy people, my name is Dan, and today I'm going to prepare, 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 because I can't get my words out.